Hello again. Today we're going to be talking about logarithms in base 10. So let's get started. Uh, remember what your powers of 10 are. We all know them. 10 to the 1 is 10, 10 to the 2 is 100, 10 to the 3 is 1000, and so on. And so whenever we're using a logarithm, we are asked to find an exponent of whatever base we're given. So if I ask you for the log base 10 of x, I'm asking you 10 to what exponent is going to give me x, whatever that number is replaced or whatever x is replaced with. So if I asked you for log base 10 of 1000, I'm asking you 10 to what exponent is going to give me 1000 or how many times do I have to multiply 10 by itself to get 1000 and the answer to that would be 3. Similarly, if I asked you for log base 10 of 0 0.01, that would be negative 2 because that's the exponent that you would need to raise 10 to to get 0 0.01. So, and since 10 is the common base of our number system, we have a decimal system, which means base 10, then sometimes you don't have to write the 10 after the word log. So something like log base 10 of x can be written as log of x. No other base has that capability. Um, so if it was base two, you'd have to write log base two of x, log base three of x. But if you just see log of x, uh, that means log base 10 of x. And that's why you have a log button on your calculator. That log button means log base 10. It doesn't mean any other base. So speaking of using a calculator, we might need that um, if we don't know the value of a logarithm. So for example, if I wanted the log base 10, which I'm just writing log, so the log of 35, um, I know that the answer is going to be somewhere between um, 1, and two because the log of 10 would be one. The log of 100 would be two. And 35 is somewhere between 10 and 100. So the log of it is going to be somewhere between one and two. So I basically need a calculator to figure this out. So I go to my calculator and I type in log of 35 and I get 1.5441. That's not something I could figure out in my head. I would need a calculator to do that. So here's an application problem. Um, in case you didn't know, the pH scale of um, a solution, the acidity of a solution, is related to the concentration of um, H30 plus in that solution. All right, and so there's a, there's a formula to help you switch from one to the other. So um, we are supposed to find the pH of a solution with an H30 plus concentration of 0.000578 moles per liter. All right, so the pH is going to be the negative log of that, and that's going to be, if I type that into a calculator, 3.2. So that is where that would lie on that um, base acid scale. Um, I could also ask you for the H30 plus concentration of a solution that has a given pH, like 7.8. So um, basically, I'm setting it up the same, but now I'm replacing pH with the 7.8 because that's what I know. I don't know the concentration, so I'm replacing that with a constant C, and I'm going to solve for that. So first, I change the sign on both sides. Now, how do I undo log? Well, to undo log, you basically raise both sides um, as an exponent of 10 just like you would with any other base. If it was log base two, you would raise both sides as an exponent of two. But now since we're dealing with base 10, I'm raising both sides as an exponent of 10. So that's what it's gonna look like. C is going to be 10 to the negative 7.8, which is that number there, moles per liter. So that is, in a nutshell, that is logarithms of base 10. There are other bases that we would need to worry about, but today we're just gonna talk about base 10 since it is the most common. If you have any questions about this, please let me know and I will see you tomorrow.